<laughs> Bill Maher took some time to comment on Bitcoin on Friday. Now, this was during his new rules segment on his show, Real Time. He said that while he still doesn't get cryptocurrencies, nothing with crypto in the title ever turns out good. Let's take a look. There is something inherently not credible about creating hundreds of billions in virtual wealth with nothing ever actually being accomplished and no actual product made or service rendered. It's like t Tinkerbell's light. Its power source is based solely on enough children believing in it. Okay, so <laughs> while I do believe that Bill doesn't understand crypto i just feel like maybe his pr team and his writers were like if you comment on bitcoin you're going to be in the headlines and everyone's going to be talking about you this weekend and alas here we are bill i'm throwing it yeah I, I called you bill ben oh no don't do that don't do that to me that is not my name that is not my name twitter do not come for me i am not bill maher <laughs> Um, no, I think like, and I will say before the show that we were, we were cutting these, uh, these little videos. So I was having to listen to Mar and Munger like on a loop for a while there. And that was quite frustrating and starting to wind me up. But, you know, I think, yeah, like, I guess shouts to whatever writer thought this was like a funny and a good one. But I think it really is just another instance of like showing how little, you know, and Zach, I really liked your idea of this is like, you know, maybe we just need to like scale back on the figure figureheads and like, people that are in pole positions in pop culture aren't necessarily ones that we should be listening to all the time, particularly, you know, when <laughs> you may be ascribed to the view that like hate clicks are still clicks uh, because you will get traffic. And again, I think that this is the, you know, just kind of the latest instance of Bill Maher being in the headlines for something that is, uh, you know, one could say controversial, others could say derogatory in a lot of different ways. So, you know, he's not made positive headlines recently. But again, like, this just shows how little people understand some of these things. And if they want to spout off about it, like, cool. But to me, I think these things should be getting less attention, honestly. I don't think that this is something where we should necessarily be, like, blowing this up in terms of coverage, even if that's to say, like, oh, you're wrong, because I think that negativity and that attention just kind of, like, feeds into these biases that people have already. So that's something more generally, I think, in light of this and Munger all happening over the weekend, like, maybe something we can be taking a step back from, and particularly, like, as an industry, if we're mature enough to do that, I think that's a or sign of maturity if we're able to do that and able to just move forward with the understanding that, like, okay, these guys don't get this cool, whatever. Why do we care what they have to say? Let's read yeah, so back his quote there. for a second. Sorry, go ahead, Will. <laughs> I'll go really, really quick. <laughs> I think this is exactly what he wanted though, right? He's a pundit and bears get more, they get noticed more than bulls do. And that's just a fact, like, especially for comedy, like he needs to do that. So I think there's a, like a difference between your Charlie Mungers of the world and your Bill Mayers of the world. And when they're commenting on these kind of things, there was another video circulating around with Mayer's uh, video of him commenting on the creation of the smartphone in the early 2000s, and he said it was a total waste of time. Well, I'm sure he <laughs> walked onto the studio using his phone to tweet. So, I mean, he's probably wrong here, and that's okay, though. It's great for, for his brand and for his product because, like, you know, bears just get more attention. They always do. If you say Bitcoin's going to crash and die you always can get that in a headline. You can't necessarily get Bitcoin to the moon in the headline for clicks as easily. I want to uh, jump in there and just go back to what he said. So billions in virtual wealth with nothing ever actually being accomplished and no actual product made or service rendered. Like, is he talking about Bitcoin or the US dollar there, right? And I think that if we can get a conversation going, like if we can get people like Bill Maher to start thinking about what is money, what is the creation of money out of thin air, what is happening to the economy when we have just printed such astronomical amounts of US dollars in the last year that is just completely completely being devalued and we can see that through you know inflation bubbles popping up all over the economy you know if we can start to get this conversation going that's fantastic but it seems like bill has just kind of stopped at bitcoin he's like yeah i don't understand this one but i'm not even going to think about the us dollar that's too difficult you know and i think that a lot of people just really don't understand how money works um, what it is and he especially doesn't understand what bitcoin is and the fact that this is a game changer i mean the value being rendered here is that you have uncensorable money you have a way to transfer capital over the internet without any intermediaries. And that's freedom. That's financial freedom for the whole world. We're not just talking about the United States. We're talking about people who are persecuted all over the world. Like that's exciting. Uh, and I think he just has never really gotten that far to actually analyze this. 
Yeah, I think what people mostly understand about money is how there's not enough of it for so many people. And I think the people that do have it are the first ones generally to kind of cast aspersions on any other uh, outside the box thinking around how to better compensate people when they're hoarding, you know, billions of dollars and trillions of dollars of wealth at the top. But that's just my take. In the segment, he he spoke about how he can understand why Apple is is worth something. It's because they produce a product. They produce phones, which is pointing to the fact that he doesn't really understand the cryptocurrencies he's talking about because there's a lot of really cool technologies and products behind a lot of these cryptocurrencies that are that are backing them. They are not really just here out of thin air. There's a lot of things happening behind the scenes that I think, you know, when he says these things in the mainstream media, people just latch onto that and, and they don't know.